and welcome everyone to Subnautica, but not just any Subnautica. Let's play Subnautica. So, I'm gonna decide to do it since Subnautica is fully released and it has an actual ending, you know, an actual progression. Well, it's always at a progression system up to like, you know, a certain point, and then you can't really go any farther. I mean, it's not randomly generated anyways, so... <coughs> I decided that, partially because, you know, put it at the end of the cycle so you know, I can actually play it again. Anyway, so, we're gonna do a let's play. I am going to delete this. Wait, mm. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna delete that. That is old RSG. RSG has been retired. However... Because, oh great, it's good. is my computer going to blow up? Oh, well, there we go. However, because uh, apparently they're adding a deal, like a separate, I don't know if it's a story or something, it's something something DLC Arctic Biome, so if that doesn't actually have an ending to it, Since that, my, if that has an ending, then it'll be probably like, you know, whatever they call the Subnautica. Let's play Subnautica colon, I know, Icy Survival or something. Episode X through Y. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm pretty sure this isn't randomly generated. I mean, they're, you know, like, resources are randomly placed in their specific biomes. Um, and I do intend to use the wiki for this just because, you know, I'd rather not go explore Death Cavern 87 if there's no reason for me to go in Death Cavern 87. And then at 42, a second ago. Oh. Oh, it's still, uh, it has the menu hidden behind this screen. You ever think we'll- oh, now my mouse is gone. Because the thing's loading, thank goodness. Um, you think we'll ever go to that, like, moon? Well, there's a really moon, like, well, I guess a moon is that close to the surface. Speaking of, how is it not, like... Actually, does this thing have an atmosphere? Because it looks like it might have, like, a slight cloud system on it. And don't worry, this uh, you're not gonna um, science vessel. <laughs> you're not going to actually um, see any of the uh, like. You're not gonna see this loading screen every time. And heck, I'm pretty sure this loading screen is only like this because it has to generate the world again. Uh, loading time keeps on going higher and higher. It's because the thing stalled or something. I don't know. I don't claim to know. Thanks, phone. My po your power cable is not actually supported. So even though it's um, you know, has power running through it, we're just gonna ignore that power. And unlike Hollow Knight, which I just realized how much of a fool I am for, um, you know. Yeah, mouse is gone. Okay. Cyclops. I mean, um, maybe we'll never get to Cyclops. Who knows? Anyways, um, because Hollow Knight, I put, like, the guide or whatever for 106% off to the left on my left screen. And then I always had to, you know, pause the game or whatever in order to actually look at it and, you know, make the game clear. I just realized I should just use my iPad for that. Because I'm using the iPad for the Subnautica wiki. So. I mean, we shouldn't need it that early on. Oops. 
something happened. Um, if I do remember, so, you know, continuing on from last, um, you know, the RSG episode 12 or 13, I think. No, I mean, I only did two sessions of it, so... It should be 12 at most. I think it was 12. Um, we need a laser cutter, a propulsion cannon, or propulsion cannon, one of one, either one or or, <coughs> and a um, yeah, I think that's it. And of course, repair tool. Once the supplies. Here's the thing, I don't actually know how to get into the Aurora correctly. I know how to get into it from the front. I've been on the Aurora once, I think. Yeah, I'm yeah, I've gone in the Aurora, but not like inside of it, only on like the wrecked outside. You know, the exposed bay. Yeah. And we'll actually try and build a base this time. Well, I, well, we're gonna be doing everything. As much as I may or may not want to be doing everything, considering, you know, this game's sort of... I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I think I should stop being so scared of this game. I want to, be, you know, venture into... Because what's the worst that happens? Yeah. I get roared at by Keith in my face, and then I die. Heck, you don't even lose stuff. You lose one. I'm pretty. I don't think you can actually lose. Like, uh, wow. This is taking a while. I don't think you can lose equipment. I. Oh, well, maybe you can. I don't know. I guess we'll probably. Hopefully, we won't find out, but we'll probably find out. You know, this game's released. Uh, game doesn't like loading. I mean, to be fair, this game was like, hey, Subnautica is not responding, so. Why don't I just. I'm just messing with paper clips. Because I have like 30 paper clips. I think I might, yeah, because I have like something like 30 paper clips. Uh, okay, it's not even loading anymore. You think the thing, if it actually um, loads right now, it will just be an empty void? Will be sky It'll probably be skybox. Although, oh yeah, speaking of void, I want to do something very specific with the void. And it is going to be um, at the very end. Yes, that's why just messing with paper clips. For a second, I thought something happened, but nope. And not gonna miss those paper clips anymore. <laughs> it's not professional, like you know. Oh, great! They're stuck now. Wow, the great first episode, huh? You know, ten, this is like the thirteenth episode of Sonica, but yeah. I'm just bending them. This is a good start, ain't it? You think this, um, Aurora is, the Aurora is shot by, like, you know, 
not shot like what actually happens, but I mean, you know, how it leaves atmosphere. If it even leaves atmosphere, it might not leave atmosphere. I mean, considering what happens to it, I don't think the thing is built for re-entry anyways. You know, with that type of curvature, this planet must be, like, super tiny, actually. Because look how big the aurora is. Compared to it. I just... If this is to scale, which, I don't know. Wow. Is this going to work, or... Or is this just a $20 piece of not working? Did they increase the price of Subnautica? They probably... I would imagine they did. Because I got this game in like 2014. So... Well, is this game not going to load? Have I just been cursed recently just with stuff not working immediately? Cause like, um, you know, a bunch of like installing games and stuff, you know, just decides that, hey, I'm gonna stop installing. Oh, I just saw ooh, something happened. I saw the Otero logo, um, spin a tiny bit. Yeah, that's something more than we had. Like 10 minutes ago. So this is the longest two seconds ever. Oh. Oh, great. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see 10 minutes of load time. It's like loading world time. No, did it go down? Um, chances are it did not go down. Unlike how it just keeps on having the load times go up and up without even telling me. I mean, if you don't want to, like, you know, load Reaper Leviathans or anything like that, that's perfectly okay with me, game. I mean, at least it's moving, although it's not, it's like unloading. I mean, it's not unloading, it's just, you know, not loading at all. Wow. Is this normal? Please tell, God, please tell me it's not normal. God, how long do you... What well, even are entity cells? We individually render every single individual cell within every single pe... Well... Oh! Did it break? Oh, never mind. Well, that's breaking. Should have waited for someone. No, nope. see you, Aurora. 
You know, sort of surprised like they didn't. Uh, oh, there's some spin there. That they didn't. Actually, why does that happen? And thank goodness you didn't get hit by the edge, or else I wouldn't have a head. How's this burning? It's all like metal. I mean, it's burning because of the circuits. No. Oh. Great. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, thanks. We're in emergency mode. Oh, please tell me the thing's not going to take that as long as it took for this game to load. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Thank you. But you can take photos? Oh. I'll put that like that. Oh boy, that is actually taking away my food. Blueprints, equipment, air pumps. Air pumps can be used to pipe breathable air to a remote location. I know I've read these before, but uh, I like reading them again. The base uh, attached air pump can be built in a compatible habitat and will source oxygen directly from the habitat's oxygen generator. The air pump must have access to breathable air and will be floating on the water surface. Pumps must be connected to a pipe chain to function. Handheld scanner. The central science and survival tool of the scanner can be used to add new blueprints to memory and analyze unknown entities. There's electromagnetic radiation in a specific, specified direction and by the environment and then analyze to determine the physical makeup of the target object. Four primary functions, blueprint acquisitions. <coughs> Record the physical parameters of scan technologies to add their blueprints to the PDA databanks. These blueprints may be then be constructed the appropriate fabricator. The scanner will script to break down damage and otherwise useless devices into the base metals for salvaging purposes. Organism analysis. The scanner will attempt to match scan organism against the onboard database. If no match is found, then the species will be assigned an easy to remember name. New data bank entry will be created. Your PDAs, AI will also attempt to synthesize theories on behavioral tendencies, solution origins where possible, as well as deliver assessments on how to best approach them. Medical analysis. Scanning a living organism will display basic information on their state of health on the scanner's HUD. This information will be limited without access to a network database. So scan the user may run itself scan to determine their own physical well-being. The scanner will search for foreign bacteria and other signs of ill health for the available data to provide a diagnosis. So zero spectroscope scanner understanding the world so you don't have to. Repair tool, which is what we need first. Repair tool can be targeted at any common device, control panels, habitat modules, radios, etc. To switch wires and seams back together at an atomic level, the technicians keep one of these under their pillows. Uh, most people don't care why it works, just that it saved their life at one time, but in case you're curious, it combines scanner and fabricator technologies during the proper specifications for the targeted objects, range the available mystical material to match original specs. So to repair tool, get your fix. An insulation. Aquarium. Uh, the aquarium is designed to hold and sustain up to eight small aquatic organisms that fits inside a regular multipurpose habitat room. Uh, aquatic creatures make up 70% of all known species, making the... Actually, yeah. I was thinking, isn't it convenient that this whole thing, like, all this stuff is specifically designed to deal with, uh, aquatic environment? Like, because the uh, Aurora is built for a phase gate, if you remember at least some hints from, like, you know, that Aussie guy. Aquatic creatures make up 70% of well-known species, making the aquarium a commonly deployed tool in many exploratory explorations. It's just as you often use to house livestock for later consumption, it is to hold specimens for xeno research. In an environment, regulation still means there's no need to care for uh, feet or care subjects. MB. Besides, the rabbit aquarium is not rated for breeding applications and creatures highly unlikely to mate. A full size containment unit for this purpose. Replicator. Fabrication technology. Fabricate, not replicator. Is the power to rearrange matter at the atomic level. It was the catalyst beyond the great expansion and remains the backbone of the modern world. 
Use come in all shapes and sizes, but the most common are small enough to be wall mounted. Use for anything from constructing everyday implements to cooking dinner. Come today for households to keep a store of generic base materials on hand for any eventuality. Habitat Builder. Your handheld habitat builder has been an essential tool for xenoscientists, colonists, and emergency relief crews. Has seven different trans goes for more than 50 years. Set modules are hermetically sealed from the outside environment, build on land, underwater, and a vacuum. And it's can be enhanced to become long term homes, or research stations, offensive outposts, and more. Right. Then basic compartments from the builder menu and place it somewhere opportune. And a hatch to access the compartment, build a solar panel to power the habitat's oxygen generator. Construct useful interior modules like radios, recharges, and storage solutions. Hurry habitat systems like oxygen generation and flood controls wells modules like the fabricator drop power and will not function without it. Should combines reduce overall hole integrity depending on the external pressure. Quick build habitats. Home far, far away from home. Solar panel. Um, solar panel is the most prevalent power source in the galaxy. So there's no accident that the standard solar panel is a default means of powering a habitat. Uh, power source is a requirement for habitat oxygen generators and other onboard modules. Provides right, limited power for small outposts and survival habitats. May be mounted on or near the habitat itself, placed remotely and connected via power transmitters. Uh, power rate relative to sunlight exposure. Vehicle. Mobile vehicle bay. Uh, mobile vehicle bay is a deployable station equipped with fabrication drones and to construct small research and exploration vehicles from raw materials. It is a common tool in almost all industrial, scientific, and colonization operations. Sea Glide. Sea Glide is a um, personal transportation device designed for use in oceanic environments. It speeds up to 36 km per hour in standing water. Displays basic topographical data for aid in charting cave systems, replaceable battery, keeps fingers clear of propellers. Oh, keep them. Sea Glide, anything that moves faster in water is probably trying to eat you. Survival package. Additional tech 2 birth emergency life pod. Features short range radio, 250 km uninterrupted range. Uh, wall mounted fabricator for survival equipment manufacturing for running organic substances edible. Medical kit fabricator, onboard air brake and flotation devices for land, sea, or space recovery. Um, solar panel cells times three. G exits to the floor and roof, standard provisions, two all environment protection suits, two ready to eat nutrient blocks, two drinking water provision, one emergency med kit, two emergency flares. What is an NB? Not bad. Some life pods be equipped with different supplies, such as radiation, suits, and replacement parts. Board the right life pod for the right situation. <coughs> oh, I, I think I've read this wrong. All environmental protection suit. The Alteri AEP suit, a single solution for a universe of infinite dangers. You're only wearing the AEP suit, a hermetically sealed personal environment designed to withstand the most extreme conditions in the known universe. Temperature and hydration regulations compatible with a range of attachments. Slimline build for maximum freedom of movement, biometric sensors, contextual heads up display. AP suits should always be equipped before life by launch in case of hull breach. Ship status um, Alter Long Range Capital Ship. Uh, mission Aridin Arm Phase Gate Installation 3 Year Operation Time Command 223. Team 85 Support Crew 40 Passengers 9. In heavy damage in orbit of planet 4546B, cause unknown evacuation data available. Hitting section, dark matter ion drive core V8. Man robotic suite, advanced scanner suite. Long range communications relay, 0.25 cubic kilometer storage for phase gate apparatus. Station section combination for 150 people. <coughs> Wait. That's more. Right? Yeah. That's what? 49, uh, well, 63, some. Yeah, that, that is more people than we can accommodate. Canteen serving healthy, fresh, and rehydrated food. Facilities including VR suite and virtual cinema. Start here. Yeah, then you survived an emergency evacuation of a capital class ship equipped with Altero technology. Congratulations, the hard part is over. You're, you sure about that? Yeah, I know. Your PDA is automatically rebooted in emergency mode. Submarine is one directed to keep you alive on our hostile land world. It is not possible to alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. Features full monitoring of vital um, science for timely survival advice. Blueprints for recovering a range of essential survival equipment tailored to your environment. More camera, microphone, and OCR technology for short range situational analysis. Cross compatibility with all total compliant products. MB, your personal work files have been encrypted and retrieved at a later date by a licensed engineer. Checklist. Sir, first aid if required. Take an inventory of available materials and supplies and decide on rations. Environment for threats and forces, construct necessary survival equipment using the uh, survival kit. Check life bar for damage. Wait, does it want me to leave? 
repair as necessary. Broadcast local distress signal using the life pilot's short range radio. Kill the survivors using the line of sight of the radio or the radio. Find a construct a more permanent habitat. Maintain physical and psychological health. I can help rescue this information. Men as general guide. For instance, you should always follow the advice of your PDA, which has in particular circumstances into account. Warning. Blueprint database corrupted. Oh, that's why it's gone. Damage to your PDA's hard drive is corrupted approximately 80% of stored survival blueprints. Maybe you require or reacquire by scanning a salvage. Not to using the hand on the scanner by downloading plans with shipboard data box. So in the these sets will most likely be found among some um, wreckage from the Aurora. Okay. Test failed. Yeah, I wonder why. Offline. Offline. Distressing of oh, great. Fusion devices deployed. Hold integrity. Okay. I don't get. Oh, I guess it distracts some things. Oh my god. This is gonna be fun. 101, eh? No. Oh. oh, great. Blew up. Oh, my VR suite. Okay, so first things first. Um. Tools. We are going to need a scanner. For reasons. You need acid mushrooms and copper ore, as well as titanium. Oh, is it night? Oh, great. Hello. Well. Orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Jeez, that's moving fast. Well, I mean, logically, I should stay here, right? Oh, hello. Oh, a whole fish. Okay. That's enough for the battery. Yeah, I'll take more. Take a lot more. Great, I should not have been sitting there reading that, should I have? Platterfish, they're not air sacs anymore. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Oh. Utilizing alien resources is oh, a prudent so survival strategy. Well, there goes that coral. Okay, Z. Great. Uh, what were the controls? Hmm. Keyboard. How is it to go down? Yeah, move down should be control. Okay. Why is it C anyways? Oh, table coral. Right. You guys want to go to the roar right now? I mean, I could. I mean, yeah, technically you can go to the roar right now, can't you? It's just, you know, not recommended. So I've got food and water situated the second. Oh, I did need titanium. Oh, f what the fuck? Okay, that's a lot faster than I expected. What the fuck is wrong with it? I've never actually seen that. it huh. <laughs> yeah I rebuild the Aurora you think I think we're gonna need a bigger repair tool I 
Yeah, that is a. Come back here. Ah. What? The? There we go. So yeah, I think I strayed a little bit farther than I'm supposed to. Yeah, wow. I've never seen an infected enemy actually. Local radiation levels. Oh great. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core oh, sustained during planet fall. Great. New creature discovered. Wonderful. Where is the I like how the first copper thing found just, you know, left. Great titanium, that's not what I need. At least I can see, right? What should I have? Yeah. The good thing this thing's water resistant. Cave in here? Yeah, this is a natural cave. Yep, there you are. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another one right over there, too. Oh no, there. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, I need. I need sulfur to, uh, too. Copper, Copper there we is go. An essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, what? but plausible. I mean, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's leave. Oxygen. Let's see. Do I do. Do I need a scan for a better? Yeah, just a better. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. You say that, not realizing that uh, something else. There's one. Oh fuck! You just popped right out. Oxygen. Okay, here's the uh, current issue. Yes, we have that one. Over there, but the problem is, I think there might be more. Got it. I'm leaving. <coughs> the. Oh no, the fabricator is. Oh fuck! You, oh no! Oh my goodness, that is so loud. I didn't realize that. How did you come back so fast? Are the plants this thing generating those or what? No. Hmm. Wait, what is it? Oh, that's a tube. I thought that was a rock and I was like, oh. So they can move these floaters around. Are you aggressive? Well, I know they're not aggressive. Yep, and I can move it. Oh wow, it put me right at the edge. Uh, very much right at the edge. Oh no, you there. Wait, that floating islands? I realize I, you know, I have not explored much. Navigator. Battery. New Air bladder. Interesting. Scanner. The 
scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. I sure well I can immediately filter that. Okay, they should, yeah, they shouldn't die. Okay, and I do not have, ugh. I do not have an air tank right now. Perfect. I will be getting, uh... Acquired. Yeah. Okay. Next thing is the repair tool. I need silicone rubber as well. So that's gonna be it for this episode, though. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya.